Hi, I'm Lessa Logan. I'm back with another collab with Andrea Maida Pilates. So make sure that you check out her video on rolling on the mat over on her channel here on YouTube. Um, I, uh, we came up with this topic because it's like a topic, right? And rolling on the mat, there's some obvious rolling exercises. So there's rolling like a ball, there's open leg rocker, there's seal, crab, uh, oh, boomerang, how could we forget? and rocking on your stomach. Those are like the major rolling exercises. But I think the rolling exercises really help prepare us for other exercises that have an element of the roll in them. So I guess I could say that about everything in Pilates, but I wanted to focus on today um, how rolling like a ball and open leg rocker can help prepare you for things like jackknife, uh, like control balance um, and um, even teaser uh, boomerang is another one I just um, did a video over on my here on my YouTube channel on connecting to the seat um, in like a boomerang like prep exercise so definitely check that out over in my tips or map playlist um, but uh, we all know we're on like a ball and it's here and I think a lot of people think it's here where you're really scrunched into this like tiny little ball but it's not a tiny little ball and so I like to think about stomach massage on the reformer you know the every everyone hates stomach massage on the reformer but it's such a good exercise it teaches so many things including snake but when you're here in stomach massage round right you're like this it is the tallest round shape I can make so if I was on my reformer, I could just take my hands to my shins and pull my feet off. And then I would be in the rolling like a ball position. Um, oh, one day I should totally do rolling like a ball on the reformer, just so you can hear yourself crash around. <laughs> and then you can control your ball more. Another video. Anyways, um, so what I was always taught in rolling like a ball is that you just go the tips of your shoulder blades. But the truth is when you get to seal and even crab, um, you have to let your head get close to the ground. You can't just go to the tips of your shoulder blades. You won't be able to like do the full exercise correctly. So safely, I would love for you to practice rolling back and kind of catching some air. So you're gonna roll back and try to lift your hips to your heels. Most people let their feet come away from their seat. So when you go back, you don't want your feet to go over here. You wanna keep the space here. So when you go back, your hips chase your heels. And the reason why I love that is if you're doing your seal, you don't want it. Most people go feet way over here and they beat. Aside from that not being very attractive position, it's also not a ball shape. So when you go, you want to lift your hips to your feet and that gives you some air time to do your beats. Going back to my reasoning for loving rolling exercises is that it prepares you for some other big ones. When you are doing balance control, you're here, you are actually going to have to be able to balance on your shoulders while you do crazy things with your legs, right? You have to do all this stuff with your legs and you can practice balancing from doing a really awesome seal, right? If I can balance on my tripod, my head and my shoulders, then I can do the beats. So then I can do things like jackknife because I can stand on my tripod and I can control it down. And that stomach here area is the same as open leg rocker. When I go back, I don't let my elbows collapse like this because then my legs are just hanging. So when I go to do my jackknife, I have to, I have no other strength but to let my legs collapse on me. But if I can practice rolling with really strong arms and not bending my elbows, then when I go into my jackknife, my body knows that when I roll down, it's used to keeping the space and controlling the descent. So to sum up rolling on the mat, focus A on the longest round shape you can make and B, on keeping the spaces from the setup through the rolling 
so that when you do bigger exercises in the mat, your body understands how to keep the shapes and not fall into itself. A key way, another one more thing, key way to double check this is really going to come from your rolling like a ball. Um, I did this on my um, playlist, the C shaper. I did rolling like a ball in the C shaper. So going back to your stomach massage situation, you don't get to go in and out with your stomach massage and collapse every time. Same thing here. When you roll like a ball, you don't get to let your legs come onto you. So when you're practicing your rolling on the mat, any rolling exercise, the start position doesn't get to change the action position in, a, in the shape, right? So when I go here, I actually have to think my thigh bones are pushing forward away from my stomach. My stomach is pulling away from my thigh bones so that I don't lose the shape, collapse, and then try to bring it back. Go back, collapse, and try to bring it back. If you're wondering what you're doing, you're like a ball, simply to set up your camera, videotape yourself, and notice when you go back, does your legs touch your chest and collapse in? Do your feet leave your seat? Right, you want to get your seat to chase your heels and the space to stay the same so that in all the rolling exercises, when they get more trickier in the choreography, you can maintain the shape, but also as the mat exercises get bigger, you're strong enough to maintain the shape. So that's some of what I have so much to say about rolling on the mat. I kind of think we have to do this again. We'll see. If you want more of my tips on rolling and how they affect the rest of your mat practice, just comment below and Andrea and I will continue this discussion. Also, next week we'll be doing rolling on the Cadillac, some of our favorite rolling stuff on the Cadillac. So make sure you subscribe to both of our playlists so you don't miss any of our collaborations. I'm Melissa Logan. Thank you so much for watching. Head over to Andrea Made Up Pilates to see her video.